Morning folks, we're back out in the fields today. It's a beautiful sunny day as you can probably tell, but it's freezing and the ground is absolutely frozen solid. I've only got two and a half acres today. It's a small field that's never been done before. So let's see what I can find on two and a half acres in about four hours. guys, my first proper signal of the day here. It's a nice sweet sound. Uh, we're bringing up 75 on the DS, so let's try and dig this live. It's a bit difficult because the ground is so solid, but we'll give it a go. So my way in, my way driving in here today, guess what song came on the radio? Yeah, it was Gold by Spandau Ballet. That must be a sign. That must be a sign. There must be gold here today. Let's see where this is. Right. Is it in the quad or in the hole? Yep, it's in the quad. I think it's quite small. It could be a small item. But it's sounding good, so let's see what's in here. Oh, it's on the side there. Just down here somewhere. Right, it's in here. It's in here. What could it be? Let's have a look. Oh, it's gone. I've dropped it somewhere. I've dropped it somewhere. Where's it gone? Ah, oh, this is happening. Oh, it's right here. It's this. Is it this? No. It's this. What is this? I've got something here. And that, my friends, is a bit of foil. I've been foiled again. Okay. One bit of foil. Next, please. Okay, the next one is in the clods here. It's coming up with some low numbers, but were, it was a nice sound, so let's find out what it is. What's it going to be? Low numbers in the 40s, that kind of thing. Is it just that? Is it just that? Yes, it's just that. Another little bit of foil. Loads of this little foil coming up with all different numbers and signals. Oh well. Next, please. Right, guys, got something in the hole here. Not dug it out yet, so... Not quite sure what it is. Uh, let's have a look at this together. So it's just just there. What could it be? It's giving a really nice signal. Oh, it's one of them. What's this? Okay, we have a big chunk of metal with some lines on it. Okay, what's this? What is this? Let's have a look. So it's quite heavy. Don't think it's lead. It's got lines running across it. Uh, not much else on here. What could that be? Is that a bit of rubbish? Is it something? Don't know. I'll give it a wee clean up and if there's any more detail on it I'll get back to you. If not, well it's on to the next. Right guys, this is a bit more interesting than I thought. Those lines turned out to be writing. Can you see that? Oh, let's get this in the light. Let me zoom in. I'll just zoom in a little bit. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but that's writing. So that's a printing. It's back to front writing. So this is obviously some sort of printing block. Um, which is interesting because in other fields in this area, I've found other bits of printing presses. Big, big, you know, um, typeface, type blocks for printing. Uh, for movable print. Um, and there's this, which has something to do with printing. Now I can't at the moment work out what that's going to be, but when I get home, I'll do a mirror image of that and see if I can read what's on there. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's definitely that way round. 
So what would this have been from? And how old is it? Well, I'm sure I'll get more information when I can work out what all that writing is. Okay folks, so when I got home, I took this picture and then because it's all in back to front and it's mirror image, I flipped it around so that we could read what was on the text. And uh, some of it was quite hard to read, but I made a few adjustments to make it a bit easier. Um, and then realised that this was a bit of text, probably from a book or a manuscript. A lot of it is hard to read, but the stuff that is readable has a lot of good information. So uh, I was pretty confident I could find out more about what this was. So amazingly, on the very first line of the text, there's a name and the name is John Vassar. So something to go on here. So I googled John Vassar and the very first page that came up was a Wikipedia page about a John Ellison Vassar. Uh, he was an American preacher born in 1813. So could this be the John Vassar I was looking for? So the next thing that I did was I googled John Vassar book and it turns out there was a book written about John Ellison Vassar called Uncle John Vassar or Fight of Faith. Could this be the book that I'm looking for? So now that I've found out that there was a book about John Vassar, uh, I wanted to find out whether or not the words and phrases on my block of print here were connected with the book. So I googled, boy, John Vassar was awake, affectionate, quick, to see what would come up. Yeah, so amazingly, Google did confirm that the words and phrases that are on my block of print here do match with the book Uncle John Vassar. So yeah, and not only that, the book is available online to read for free. So having compared the paragraph in the book and the paragraph on my block press, it appears that the block press is either an abridged version or someone else has been writing about John Vassar and using this book as reference. As you'll see, paragraph is very similar but there are differences. Of the boy John Vassar, not much can be remembered now. He was wide awake, impulsive, affectionate, quick tempered and rapidly dispatched what was given him to do. You can see that the wording is slightly different on the print block here as it says and he was remarked as having clarity of dispatching rapidly at once whatever he was given to do. So on the print block, it then has the line, he had a bright active mind. Now that is on the next page in the book. And then it talks about he had little education and then goes into something else. I can't find that in the book at all. So I think the author is now putting things into his own words. All right, guys, here we go onto our first coin of the day. And there it is there, sitting on the clod. What have we got here? What have we got? Let's have a wee clean up. It is a modern 1p. One pence. I'm one pence richer than I was this morning. Where's Queen Elizabeth? Okay, next please. Alright guys, went to another hole here and it's a, guess what it is? Coin or button, coin or button. You see it? It's just here. What have we got here? Coin or button? I'm thinking coin. I'm thinking coin. Ooh, what's this? No, nope. button I think. I think that's a little shank on the back there. Oh, I can't get this to focus. So have a look. Oh, this could be something quite nice. Give me a second, I'm just going to clean this up and see what we've got here. Yeah, I think what we have here is just a button. Uh, there's a shank on the back there. Some writing or something around this side, but I'm not quite sure. If you think it's anything else, let me know, but I'm pretty sure that is a button. Okay, next please. Okay, 
The next find is a big chunk of lead, but I actually think it is something. So here we go, big chunk of lead with a wee knobbly bit on top. Uh, now we found one of these before. It wasn't quite like that, but it was called a clack valve. And that was used as some sort of valve in a in a water pump. It could be one of them, I'm not too sure. Uh, or it could just be a big chunk of lead, but I think it had a purpose. You can see it's got a base to it, uh, something on top. But I'm going with the clack valve just now. Hopefully I can find out exactly what that is at a later date. Okay, thanks please. Okay, in this lovely day I think I'm onto another coin. Here we go, there's something in here. Let's get this out together. And here. Yeah, that looks like a coin to me. What kind of coin is it? Modern or old? Modern or old? Modern or old? Let's see. Right. Let's get some of this mud off. I think this is modern. I think this could be two pence, I think. Is that the ship from the ship's half penny? Mm, don't know. Let me see. Let's give it a good clean. Not getting nothing off that just now. Anyway, it's a coin. If I get anything off it, I'll let you know. Okay, next please. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. My spoon of the day. Yep. Every time I might have found a spoon. Here we go little spoon. Nothing important, nothing exciting, just a wee spoon. Okay, next please. Okay, something nice and round in the ground here, but it's not what you might expect. That is the wheel of a toy car, I think, or a toy tractor. You see it? It's even got its, or is it? Oh, that could be something different, actually. <laughs> no, I don't think that is a wheel of a toy car. I think that's something else. Give me a sec, I'm going to give it a quick clean up and hopefully I can tell you what it is. Right, guys. Slow day, as I've said before. But here I found a nice part of a buckle. Yep, a wee bit of a buckle there. Now, I don't think it's particularly old, uh, but it is a nice little pointy design on it. See that? A wee pointy bit at the top. Yeah, that's, that's quite nice. Quite a nice little buckle, or part of a buckle. But I need to find more cool things today. Okay, next please. Okay, I've come across something which could be interesting here. Um, it's whatever this is. First of all, I thought it could be a lock. Yeah, I think it could be a lock. Some sort of lock mechanism on the back there. Let's see if we can rub that mud off and get a better look at it. Yeah, I think that's a lock. But on this side, there's some writing. What does the writing say? What does the writing say? I don't know. I'll try and clean this up and see if I can get any uh, get any words off this. Okay guys, so as you can probably see there it says Warmold Sheffield. Warm mold Warmold Sheffield. Uh, made in England. 26290. Yeah, and that is uh pretty sure that's part of a lock. Padlock. And it's come apart. Yep. Nice big chunk of whatever metal that is. There you go. Next, please. Right, guys, I thought I'd found a gun, first of all. <laughs> Saw that, thought that could be a gun. But of course it's not a gun. Not quite sure what it is. Something farm related, something to do with, I don't know, I don't know, giving animals injections or something like that. That's what I think it is, but 
some writing on it there. Can't work out what it is. Anyway, that's a great big lump of something. Big bit of machinery, or part of machinery. I'll take that home and clean it up and see if I can find out anything more about that. But it's not a gun. <laughs>